So in today's video, I wanted to give my expectations for the Naruto and Sasuke fight in the anime. Now, as many of the manga readers know, which is probably all of you, Naruto and Sasuke will be start beginning their battle in this week's episode titled The Final Valley, and Sakura will also be consenting to Sasuke and will be getting Sasuke's goal, which is to have the revolution and execute the five Kage's that are currently inside of Zenitsu Kiyomi. To stop him, Naruto wants to fight him, and they're going to fight. Now in the manga, I'm going to be honest, and it's a very good fight. I love it. It, it, it looks good, but already got on point. The visuals are great. I don't have any problems with the fight itself, but considering, let me check this here, but in, chapter, in Naruto chapter 183, titled The Promise of a Lifetime, Naruto promised Sakura he would bring back Sasuke and him and the Sasuke retrieval team left the Hidden Leaf Village to go after Sasuke. We are just now fighting Sasuke. This is what we've been leading up to. Ever since when Naruto promised Sakura, we've been hyped for Naruto's end fight, final climactic battle with Sasuke. We've been waiting for it since his promise to Sakura. We knew this would happen and we've been waiting for it. They've fought a couple of times since then, but they've only had one other real fight, which was their first fight pre-time skip at the battle at the end, with Sasuke being victorious. Now, this is it. This is the final fight of the series, and in the manga, it was only five chapters. After all of these years of hype, and the brief little fight, like the final in the Land of Iron, that fight after Bakage's stomach when they fought there, that fight was brief. Their fight during the Asai and Sasuke arc, that fight was brief, and it wasn't even really a Naruto and Sasuke fight. The Sasuke was also fighting against Sakura, Yamato, and Sai. So they've only really had one one on one fight, and in the, that, in the Land of Iron, it was really just a Rasengan Shidori class, and, the, and Sasuke wasn't going to win that because it was Sakura, Kakashi, and Naruto. If they had wanted to, they could have stopped him. The only reason they did it was Obito or Madara showed up, or Toby. So, it, we have to this has been building for a very long time. And we're finally here. So one thing I definitely expect is a longer fight. I want the fight to be longer, I really do. The fight, I'm sorry, it needs to be more than just... The, each anime episode is like three chapters, right? So what, the fight is going to be like two and a half episodes? No. No. That's bullshit. No. We've been waiting for this fight for too long for that. I am saying 10 episodes. I'm going to be reviewing and live reacting to every episode. And I personally, I'm really sorry about that. I'm in the city, so there's not much I can do. That's just background noise. The street behind me, very busy. Nothing I can do. No, but it, just, it needs to be, I'm thinking 10 episodes. I'm going to be reviewing and live reacting to every single episode. And I'm just kind of like, 10 episodes sounds good. I would like more, maybe 15 episodes. I know that seems really long, but it's a Naruto vs. Sasuke. Now let's talk about animation. I have spent this all, the other episode, the stories that we made, said with cinematography level, it was like almost cinematography, like for the movie. The episode when they tried to steal Kagoya, the one where Naruto did the, the, the reverse harem jitsu, and turned to into all the naked men. Yeah, that episode, that episode was gorgeous. The entire fight needs to look like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This entire, this fight needs to look good. The art needs to be perfect, and the animation needs to be met. Met, I need to almost would say, the best, and you know, it needs to be the best it's ever been. It needs to be the same level as the Boruto movie or the last. I expected that, because it's just 10 episodes, and it's in Naruto versus Sasuke. It's in Naruto versus Sasuke. Something we have been waiting for, for so long. I've been waiting for this in the anime for almost three years now. In November, I will have been waiting for what, three years? I think the manga ended like, what, three years ago now? There have been three years of waiting for this. I've been dying for it. We put up with all this filler and everything. It needs to look good. Number two. I want flashbacks. Now, I'm not saying I want a ton of them, but I want the flashbacks placed properly. 
Like, I want flashbacks to their first fight. I want the flashbacks in it. I do want flashbacks. Yeah, I feel like that's one of the things that makes Naruto fight so good. It constantly flashing back. And, like, it really builds up the emotion. Like, it reminds you of all these moments that happen. And it really builds up the emotion. Especially if it has, like, really sad background music playing. During that scene. Especially. So, yeah, I mean. Those are my expectations for a Naruto and Sasuke fight. This is, I have good animation, good graphics. I don't want filler. I just want flashbacks placed throughout the fight properly. Also, I really like some of the things Storm 4 did. Like, I love that scene in Storm 4. Not in the manga, though. With Naruto drowning and every single person that believes in him. And you have, like, all the people that have ever helped him. And then you have, like, the other like, like, and all the characters in the last one of Sakura and the last one that pushes him up. And then I love to get it's a complete contrast to Sasuke, who although people are helping push Naruto forward and helping him stand up and just supporting him, Sasuke is just like running past all the people that wanted to help him. It looks like it flashed of like, you know, Naruto, it flashed of like a team, it flashed of Kakashi, and flashed of Sakura. And then he has ignored all of them, but Naruto is like, he lets them help him, and then he like does the Rastanga and he just sees Sasuke. I love that scene in Storm 4. I also love, uh, there's a lot of the flashing back. I, like, I hope we flash back in between all their fights. Like, I hope, like, you know, Naruto goes to punch Sasuke, and you see Kid, Naru Kid Sasuke punching Naruto, and it flashes to Naruto hitting him in a QB form when he fought him for the first time in the Valley of the End. Then it's with this and Arthur and Sasuke fighting in the land of iron. I really hope they do something like that. They need this fight to be emotional. This is supposed to be a very emotional fight. And it is in the manga, it really is. But the manga is more emotional, but it's not as emotional as it could be. They could make this fight one of the most. They, this fight had potential, had potential to be the best fight in the history of an Arthur franchise. It is potentially the best fight they've ever done, hands down. And I'm really hoping they don't mess it up. If they mess this up, I will be pissed off. I really, I'll be angry if they piss it off. But again, these are my, these are my expectations. This is kind of just me talking about what I want from a Naruto and Sasuke fight. Completely unscripted video. No prior planning, just me sitting down and being legit with you guys. I'm trying to do this more often. When I sit down and I just like legit with you. But yeah, uh, by the way, there's no One Piece this week. And I would also like to mention how I'll be doing the reviews, alright? I'm not probably not going to, I'm probably just going to review the episode in the reaction. Tell me what you guys think of that in the comments. Do you want me to review the episode in the reaction? Like, do you want me to do a reaction and then just review it in that video? Or do you want to split up into two videos? I'm, it really depends on, on how my day is going. Like, if all if I just have time to watch the episode, I'll put it out then. I don't know how that's gonna work. Remember, I'm in school. I'm back in school now. Well, I'm not, when this video goes up, I won't be in school, but I'm starting on Thursday. So, that, the review will be late, because I have to do the One Piece live reaction and review, and those come first. One Piece is my top priority. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. Besides the final episode, the final episode will be a big deal. It'll be like with Bleach. It'll be like with Bleach. I'll do it live. Like, the final episode of Naruto Anime. I'm going to be reacting until the end of the canon material. So everything in the canon is that final episode. Uh, I will be the final two episodes after the 99, 700. We'll get a live stream, like, with the comments. Where I actually stick around for, like, 20, 30 minutes afterwards. And I talk about the theory. But, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video giving my expectations. Tell me down below, what are your expectations for the fight, really? Like, what did you expect from Studio Parriot? And I also have a video I plan on doing, by the way. Just quick self-plug on uh, Studio Parriot versus Toei Animation. Yeah, so that's gonna be fun. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. And remember guys, to subscribe for Naruto live reactions and reviews because those are coming starting this Thursday. I may do a public stream on Thursday. Maybe public, it may not be. It's my first day back to school, so that's a little 
if they yeah, I haven't, I haven't updated the video on all this coming, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Peace.